Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome to another episode of Metamax. So in this episode, we're still continuing on with our Tier 1, sorry, Tier 5, uh, Inner Sphere Metamax. So in this episode, we have the next one on the list, the Commando 1B. So what is the Commando 1B in regards to a Metamax? Well, for this one, the build is basically related to an average amount of DPS in conjunction with maximizing armor. Uh, it ends up with a, a little bit of tonnage free, uh, really good heat efficiency, but also has good range. And also, it maximizes all three energy slots. So, first off, uh, what is the weapons, on, or what are the, what are the armor upgrades we're going to give it? So, we're going to give it Pharaoh. Uh, we're also going to give it endo steel and we're going to give it double heat sinks it's going to get all three in this case that way we can save up some uh some some tonnage for what we're going to do first thing we're going to do is put the long range weapon on it's going to be a large laser so that way we can reach out and touch someone with a significant amount of, of uh, politeness and and love and, and care then we're going to do two medium lasers that'll help offset the heat and also give us that in close punch if we need it uh, we're not going to utilize any missiles at all, um, even though it does have the center torso missile slot, and it also. Uh, but here's the thing, right? There is no missile missile quirks on this thing. So what you want to do is be able to minimize and maximize, right? So in this case, you're going to maximize the energy range and uh, cool down and energy heat generation quirks associated with also the laser duration. So your rounds are going to fire out just that little bit faster. So your DPS overall is roughly around 2.34 damage per second. So you got to remember, right? That's how much damage you can put out per second in a match. So if the average match is 25 minutes, you can do the math there. 60 seconds in a minute. So you have your estimated amount of damage, right? So next thing we're going to do is we're going to put an, uh, a double heat sink in the left torso over here. Gonna clear that. We're going to throw that in. And we're going to put the engine on. Now, one thing about commandos, right? You want them to be fast because they're pretty easy to hit. And the fact that it's a light, obviously you're going to maximize your, your tonnage, right? We're going to put in an XL-235. Yes, I know it exceeds my balance. So that'll give us a speed of 152.3. Um, that does leave 0.3. Um, actually, you know what? We can probably do a 240. So what this does is this actually leaves out 0.9 for, for weapons. Now, mind you, what you can do is change things up a little bit. Um, change it out to a 235 and tweak your armor a little bit. One of the good things about, um, about lights, they're really, really hard to hit. So if you reduce your armor in your legs, it's not so bad. Then what you can do... Do I have the right one? Is this the 1B? It is the 1B. Interesting. It should have 16 points of... Are we hitting a bug here? Why won't it let me put the armor back up after... Oh, are you serious? You won't let me... Interesting. Okay, so I can't do this unless I put an engine on. Okay. So we're going to up the armor first to 16 in both arms. Basically maximizing its potential for defense. The torsos, because we're going to be putting an XL engine in this thing, are going to go to 20 when we can get them up to 20. We're going to reduce. There we go. Perfect. Head. Uh, we're going to maximize that out to 18. Because, I mean, the cockpit is pretty big and pretty easy to hit. And then the front will armor. And the torso is going to be maxed out as well to 28. Boom. Now, we're going to put on that XL2. Uh, well, you know what? Might as well just go to an XL240. That maxes it out. So we're at 24.8 for damage, which is really good. Um, our armor is pretty well rounded. Now we got our torsos protected pretty good, so we don't get uh, too too hurt up if we lose a torso and obviously get killed. Uh, we got the large laser for range, and we got the medium lasers for in close fighting if we need it. Overall, our heat efficiency is 1.4. Now, basically, the way the the cooling efficiency basically the mech the way it's able to burn off heat is really good uh with the quirks and stuff is roughly about 50 percent uh i think it's 50 percent i'm trying to remember the exact math um the way heat efficiency works in the game but basically it's it's sitting at it's really good 
The heat efficiency is 50. Basically, as you're learning, I think it's like 50, 50 a second or something like that. So depending on how fast you put out, you're able to knock off a significant amount of your heat really, really quickly. Very good heat efficiency. Uh, long range, very maneuverable, 155.5. Uh, to be honest with you, the only thing I would do is if I could would be to drop the engine and put jump jets on there, but there's no jump jets. Other than that, it's got everything. It's got speed, maneuverability, and armor. It has the perfect three points of the triangle. Until next time, see you guys then. Bye-bye.